All right, let's dive in, shall we? Today, we're all about high-tech security, taking a deep dive into this Uniview IPC6434LRX16VG1 camera. We got the reports, specs, the whole nine yards, ready to break it down. Looks like you've, uh, you've really honed in on something special with this camera. The sources you've provided, they paint a picture of something designed for, well, some serious security work. No kidding. First off, this camera boasts a 4MP resolution. So for those of us who aren't, you know, tech wizards, what's that actually mean for, say, keeping an eye on your property? 4MP. That's the sweet spot, really. For a lot of security needs, I mean. 4MP, it gives you enough detail. You can make out faces, even license plates if they're not too far away. But here's the thing. It's not so high res that it's eating up storage like crazy. You know, it's all about finding that balance. Practical and powerful. I like the sound of that. Now, one thing that really jumped out at me was the name Light Hunter. Does this camera actually live up to the name? Oh, it does. It really does. This camera, it uses Uniview's Light Hunter technology. And we're not just talking about your run of the mill night vision here. We're talking 0.005 Lux color sensitivity. To put that in perspective, think about a moonless night, right? right. That's about 0. 0.0001 lux. This thing can see in near darkness and in color. Wow, that's uh, that's some seriously impressive low light performance. Okay, but what about zoom? We're seeing 16x optical zoom on this thing. What makes that different from, say, the zoom on my phone? Clarity. That's the key difference. Optical zoom means the lens itself is doing the work. It's adjusting to magnify that image. It's not just digitally enlarging it, which, let's be honest, can get pretty pixelated, especially the further you zoom in. 16x optical zoom on a security camera. And you can zoom in from pretty far away and still get a really crisp, usable image. Makes sense. So, like, if you needed to identify someone across a parking lot or zoom in on a license plate way out there, that optical zoom, that's a game changer. Well, absolutely. I mean, in those situations, that clarity, it could be the difference between, well, having useful evidence and not. Now, you also highlighted something interesting in the source material, something called DRI. Sounds kind of technical, but it's a pretty practical concept once you wrap your head around it. All right, so break it down for us. What is DRI and why should we care? DRI, it stands for Detect, Observe, Recognize, Identify. It's basically a standardized way to measure how effective a camera is at different distances. Think of it like this. It tells you what you can actually de-do with the camera at various ranges. So it's about like setting realistic expectations. It's one thing to say a camera has great zoom, but DRI tells you what you can actually see at those distances. Exactly. You're thinking like a security pro now. Understanding DRI, it's key to choosing the right camera and then, you know, placing it in a way that makes sense for your needs. Makes sense. So let's uh, let's walk through each of those DRI levels for this specific camera. Let's start with detect. What kind of range are we talking about? The specs say this camera can detect someone up to 2048.4 meters away. That's over two kilometers. Now, granted, at that distance, you're not going to be able to tell who they are or what they're doing, but you'll know someone's there. Two kilometers. That's like, what, seeing someone coming from blocks away? But what about getting a clearer picture of what's going on? Right. That's where the observe range comes in. This camera, it lets you observe activity at a distance of 819.4 meters. Now, at that range, you can start to make out actions. Are they walking, running, carrying something? You're getting a little more intel to assess the situation. Okay, so we've gone from just detecting that someone's there to actually observing their behavior a bit. What about recognizing who they are? With this camera, the recognized range is about 409.7 meters. Yeah. Now, you might not get, like, perfect facial recognition at that distance, but you will start to pick out those identifying features. Clothing, build, maybe even familiar walk if you know them. Enough to say, hey, that looks like. That's still pretty far out. But what if you need a positive ID? That's where identify comes in, right? Exactly. Even at maximum zoom, this camera has an identify range of 204.8 meters. At that distance, you're talking about a clear enough picture to make a definitive identification. So we're talking about a camera that can see in near darkness, zoom in from incredible distances to give you that detail. That's wild. Now, one more thing that caught my eye in the specs. This camera's got a pretty distinctive dome design. Got to be about more than just looks, right? You're right about that. That dome, it serves a very specific purpose when it comes to security. It's all about psychology. Okay, you got me. Tell me more. Think about it. That dome housing, it makes it almost impossible to tell which way the camera is actually pointing. Someone walks by, they see the camera, but they don't know if they're in its line of sight or not. It's kind of like uh, adds a layer of uncertainty, you know. Mm -hmm. And that uncertainty, that's a powerful deterrent when someone's thinking about doing something they shouldn't be doing. 
A little psychological warfare, huh? Make them think twice. Exactly. They see the camera, but no idea if it sees them. Might be enough to make them think again. Smart. Speaking of smart, this camera, it's loaded with features. One that really stuck out to me was the uh, IK-10 Vandal Resistant Rating. So, plain English, what does that even mean? This thing can take a punch. It's tougher than it looks. IK-10, that means it can handle impacts up to 20 joules of energy. Okay, 20 joules. For those of us who didn't ace physics, what's that mean in the real world? Let's just say it can take a beating. Someone would need more than a quick kick to put this camera out of commission, that's for sure. Good to know. And it's not just tough. This thing is ready for anything. IP66 weatherproofing, right? What kind of weather are we talking here? This camera laughs at bad weather. Rain, snow, dust, storms. You name it. That IP66 rating means it's totally sealed up, no dust getting in, and it can handle some serious water jets from any direction. So it's not just about keeping an eye on things, it's about having that constant security presence, rain or shine. Exactly. And here's where it gets really cool. Two-way audio. This camera, it doesn't just see and record, it listens. A and D talks back. Now we're talking. That's not just passive security anymore. What can you even do with two-way audio on a security camera? Think about it. You're away from home. Right. Mm -hmm. You see a delivery person at your door, can't find the right entrance, you can just tell them where to go right through the camera. Andy, but I'm guessing the security side of that is even bigger. You could actually, like, talk to someone, maybe deter them. Oh, absolutely. Warn off an intruder, maybe even scare them off completely. It's like instant control right there in the moment. Eyes, ears, and a voice on the ground. And on top of all that, this thing has smart intrusion prevention and auto tracking. Those sound like features straight out of, like, a spy movie. How do those even work? This camera's got some serious brains. Yeah. So smart intrusion prevention, yeah. it means it uses AI, right? Mm. Analyzes movement, figures out what's a real threat and what's not. So, like, a cat walks by, no big deal. But someone jumps your fence, getting a notification. Finally, no more 3 blood a 0 a.m. alerts because a bug flew past the lens. I've been there. But auto tracking, that one sounds even wilder. It really just follows a potential intruder around. You got it. Spots <laughs> a potential threat, locks on, and follows them. Yeah. So not only do you get a good look at what's happening, but the camera is also building that more complete record of the event. So it's not just recording, it's analyzing, thinking about what it sees. Yeah, and that's the thing, isn't it? This is where it's all going. This whole idea of security tech that can, like, anticipate problems, not just react to them. Almost like having a security guard who can actually, you know, stay a step ahead. Right. And when you put it all together, I mean, the Light Hunter tech, that zoom, how rugged it is, the two-way audio, even the AI stuff. Yeah. It's a, a whole other level of security camera. Yeah. This isn't your grandma's old security camera, that's for sure. <laughs> it's clear Univue really went all out here. I almost wonder, with everything this thing can do, wouldn't it be useful? It's a good point. And it goes back to what we were saying about, like, DRI, you know, figuring out what you need for your specific situation. So not really a one size fits all kind of thing? Nope. This is more like you tailor it to you. Mm. Imagine you're protecting a big property lots of ways in, right? Rawr. Knowing the DRI stuff, that's how you decide where this camera goes to do the most good. Ah, so you might have one covering a wide area just watching for anything, but then another one focused on a main entrance where you need that close-up ID. Exactly. Working smarter, not harder. Yeah. Right. Well, I think we've covered a lot of ground here. This Univue IPC6434 LRX16VG1 camera is something else. Definitely an impressive piece of tech. I always oh, like seeing where this stuff goes next, you know, what they come up with. I hear that. But I think if there's one thing to take away from all this, it's to be informed, right? We've thrown a ton of info at you today, but it's about you being able to then make the best security choices for you. Couldn't agree more. Knowing your options, that's half the battle these days. Exactly. So whether it's for your home, your business, or even just peace of mind, do your research, folks. There's some seriously cool tech out there just waiting to be put to good use. Absolutely. And that's about it for today's Deep Dive. Big thanks for joining us as we explored the cutting